Hello friends. Today we are going to learn question and answers from the chapter Soil Erosion and Conservation. This is chapter number 6 from your textbook. So let us immediately start. First question from Tick the correct answer. The wearing of or carrying away of soil by the action of water or wind is called options are storm, flood, soil erosion, deforestation. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is soil erosion. Okay. So when there are different calamities like uh, there is flood for example and there is lot of water on the land. Now when there is rushing of water the good soil from the top of the ground also gets washed away. Okay, this wearing off or carrying away of the soil by the action of water, it can be because of wind also. Okay, this is called as soil erosion. Okay, second question, these may lead to soil erosion. Terrace farming, growing of crops, afforestation, deforestation. So what may lead to soil erosion? Correct, deforestation. When you cut the trees, there is nothing to hold the soil. And when there is natural calamities like uh, maybe a storm or a flood, then this good soil gets washed away. So we should plant the trees to avoid soil erosion. If you cut the trees, if you cut the forest area, then this soil will get washed away very easily. So deforestation is the correct answer. Soil is mostly conserved by options are afforestation, deforestation, making dams, overgrazing. So soil is mostly conserved by what? What can protect the soil? Right, afforestation. So when you plant more trees, it will conserve the soil, it will save the soil. Conservation means saving something. So if you want to save the soil, if you want to protect the soil, then afforestation is a solution. So correct answer is afforestation. What is the meaning of afforestation? The meaning of afforestation is to plant more and more trees. Fourth question. The Wangwo River which changes its course every year is in? This is a picture of Wangwo River. It is in which country? It is in Holland. Is it in China, India or Sri Lanka? Now from the name of the river you can easily guess the answer. Right. China is a correct answer. Hongwo river is in China. This is a picture if you can see it over here. This is a picture, a top view, a satellite image of Hongwo river. It changes its course every year. Okay. Next question. Afforestation is a term which means felling of trees, overgrazing growing trees or making dams. Now this is quite obvious. What is afforestation? Growing more trees. So correct answer is C. Growing trees. Now comes fill in the blanks. There are four questions in this. Running water washes away soil off dash. Then dash forces like wind, rain, running water help in soil formation. Third question. Plants and trees hold the soil together by their dash. At places where strong winds blow, dash are blown away with the top of the soil. And what are the answers for this? Running water washes away soil of hill slopes. Okay, because hill slopes, because of the angle, what happens? The soil can easily get washed away. Okay, then natural fiber forces, natural forces like wind, rain, and running water help in soil formation. So uh, the reason for soil formations are mostly natural forces and these forces are because of wind, rain. Okay, Plant and trees hold the soil together by their roots. That's why we say that afforestation is very uh, necessary for the conservation of soil because the roots of the plant hold the soil together. And what happens if you cut the trees? The, it will lead to soil erosion very easily. Fourth question. At places where strong winds blow, manure too is 
blown away along with the top of the soil. So manure is a sort of fertilizer, a natural fertilizer which helps the plant to grow very nicely. And this also gets washed away from the top of the soil. Match the columns. So in one column we have loss of soil, sorrow of China, cutting down trees, protection of soil, planting more trees. And in column V, we have afforestation, deforestation, wang wo, soil erosion, soil conservation. Now most of this answer you might have guessed, but still I would like to show you the answers. So for loss of the soil, the answer is soil erosion. Then sorrow of China, the answer is wang wo. Cutting down trees, the answer is B, deforestation. Protection of soil, the answer is E, soil conservation. And planting more trees, the answer is afforestation. Okay, these are the match the columns. Then let us come to short answers. What is meant by soil erosion? So here you will write the condition of wearing off or carrying away of soil by the action of water or wind is known as soil erosion. Okay, so this carrying away or wearing of the soil, it can be because of water or because of wind. Because of water when there is a flood, because of wind when there is cyclone. Okay, so these are the reasons why soil gets eroded off or carrying away of soil. Okay, this is called as soil erosion. Second, what is soil conservation? Here you will write the protection of soil against soil erosion is called soil conservation. So when we protect the soil against soil erosion is called as soil conservation. And how do we do that? By planting more and more trees. What is meant by afforestation? Here you will write, the process of growing more trees by planting saplings is called afforestation. So by planting more trees, we do afforestation. What is Earth Day celebrated every year? When is Earth Day celebrated every year? Here you will write, every year Earth Day is celebrated on 22nd April. Or else you can write in this form also, Earth Day is celebrated every year on 22nd April. Okay. Next, what do the three R's stand for? Well, three R's stand for reduce, reuse and recycle. Then comes long answer questions. Why do we say that soil is foundation of life? Here you will write, soil supports plants which provide food to all living things on this planet. Thus, it is a foundation of all life on earth. So, soil supports plant which provide food to all living things. Okay. So, all the necessities that a uh, plant need. Okay. It is provided by whom? By the soil only. All the nutrients that plants get, it gets because of soil. That's why it is called as foundation of all life on earth. Okay. So, we are, we should be thankful that our our planet has such a nice conditions to survive. You will not find it on, on any other planet. Second, how was soil formed from rocks? Earlier there were rocks. So how did soil form? Here you will write, when earth are, was formed, there were only water, air and hard rocks. The sun heated the rocks. The rain made them cold and wind blew over them. This continued for thousands of years. As a result, the rocks broke into small pieces. These small pieces broke into still smaller pieces. They were carried away around by wind and water. They rubbed against each other till they become tiny particles which we call soil. So, this is what we call as soil formation. Okay, This is how soil got formed. It got smaller and smaller because of various natural forces. And ultimately it became soil. How does water act as an agent of soil erosion? Here you will write, heavy rains causes floods. Flooded rivers and running water remove the top soil and running water washes the soil of the hill slope. This makes the slopes unfit for cultivation. This is how soil formation takes place. Why do some rivers change their course? Here you will write, due to constant deposition of river sediments on the slower side and vast amount of erosion that takes soil on faster side, this process keeps on continuing till the curves get sharpened 
so that river cuts through the curve and forms another path thus river changes its course so it is the result of the deposition of the soil so when the soil gets deposited on one side of the river ultimately the course of the river changes okay so i will repeat the answer due to constant deposition of river sediments on the slower side and the vast amount of erosion that takes place on the faster side this process keeps on continuing till the curves get sharpened okay so on from one side it gets eroded from one side it gets deposited so this makes the change in the course so that river cuts through the curve and forms another path thus river changes its course how is man responsible for soil erosion here you will write roots of trees and plants hold the soil together felling of trees or deforestation is a major cause of soil erosion when trees cut down the soil it becomes loose and is easily carried away thus human beings cause soil erosion by cutting down trees so we know that the roots of the trees hold the soil together and when you cut down the trees it causes soil erosion so these are the human activities that lead to soil erosion then last question list three ways by which soil can be conserved here you will write following are the three ways by which soil can be conserved we can grow cover crops like grass or creepers since the roots of these plants hold the soil then cutting the slope into steep into steps and terraces can reduce soil erosion since the steps slow down the flow of water so on the slopes what we have to do we have to create steps or terraces so that it will slow down the flow of water and last point you will mention building embankments along the river banks holds the water between the banks and prevents soil erosion so you can build these embankments along the rivers so that it will protect the soil it will hold the soil between the banks and prevent soil erosion it will hold these banks will hold the soil and this is how we can conserve the soil well students if you have any questions feel free to ask you can put your questions in comment box thanks for attending this session see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye <music>